And I can't talk and it tells beautiful stories We learn and understand from the icons Our icon today tells us about Archdeacon Habib Gurgis who established for us Sunday School which we all love and attend joyfully to listen to the stories in the Holy Bible as well as our church, the saints and the beautiful teachings of our true Orthodox faith. We also learn praises and hymns and learn off by heart verses from the Holy Bible. Since his young age, his dad and mum brought him up in the true faith. He studied in the Great School of Coptics in Cairo. He was very clever in learning the hymns of the church and while he was still a student, Pope Crawlis VI ordained him a full deacon to be his personal deacon. We see in the icon Archdeacon Habib Gurgis dressed with the sash in the way of the head of deacons because Pope Crawlis VI was watching his faith, honesty and love to our Lord and ordained him an archdeacon. In the icon, we see him standing in front of a desk with a board behind him explaining lectures in the Theological College, which teaches theology and true faith to the students. Before St. Habib Gurgis took care of the Theological College, it was a very old building, empty from teachers and students. Pope Crawlis VI, seeing his great love to the service, appointed him to be responsible for the Theological College. There was no money to build a new one, so St. Habib Gurgis went around all over the cities of Egypt, preaching in the churches and encouraging people to donate to build a new theological college. He was successful and bought a land on which he built a new theological college in Cairo. Also, he built some other branches for it in the other cities. He cared to put the programs to be studied by the students and he used to teach rituals, theology and church history. He got teachers for other subjects and added the subject of philosophy, other languages, plus Coptic, which was the main language to be studied. St. Habib Gurgis was the first student that studied in the Theological College as he was very advanced in his academic level, so that he became the first teacher of the Theological College, then the Dean of the College. St. Habib Gurgis with his thoughtful mind, saw that there was also a need to teach the children. So after the theological college was settled, he established Sunday school in the churches and worked hard to spread it over all Egypt. Now it is also in immigrant countries. We see in the icon on his desk a lot of books. He wrote about 30 books. He was the author of El Karma magazine. He used to put in it a lot of teaching articles and also prepared programs for Sunday school students in all years of education. He also worked hard so that the government approved teaching Christian religion in the schools for Christian students. Also Saint Habib Gurgis thought to make beautiful pictures expressing Sunday school lessons and in the back of each picture a brief outline of the main points in each lesson. This was to make the children love the lessons and easily learn them. He also wrote many praises, so we see him as a leader of Christian education for the whole church in this time. We see also in the icon Saint Habib Gurgis standing on the lectern in the church preaching because he was a very strong preacher who used to give a lot of sermons. He was very well known and the people all over Egypt loved to hear his sermons. He also cared for teaching the uneducated on how they can read and write and they can read the Holy Bible. Saint Habib Gurgis was also a very faithful Egyptian citizen who established charitable associations to encourage the love to his country, Egypt, and wrote a poem titled, O oh Lord Bless Egypt. Also we see in the icon Saint Habib Gurgis holding a cross, symbol to his victory and also holding the Holy Bible as he cared to deliver the message of our Lord God to all people as much as he could. We also see in the icon a halo of light around the head of Saint Habib Gurgis, for he is a saint and with his true love to our Lord and to the church, he used all his life to teach and witness to our Lord. He was practicing a lot of good Christian characters 
so he became a light and a good example for his generation and the future generations. As he taught a lot of students who became witnesses to our Lord like him, with their life and teaching, we see in the icon our beloved Pope Shenouda III, who was one of the disciples of Archdeacon Habib Gerges. And then later on, he became the Pope of the See of St. Mark. Our beautiful church wants to know the life of St. Habib Gerges and learn from him, and to know that recently the Holy Synod in Egypt recognized him to be one of the saints of the church and we celebrate a feast for his departure on the 15th of the Coptic month Mesra in every year. This is the story of the icon as Saint Archdeacon Habib Gerges. Let us come stand in front of the icon and pray saying, O Saint Archdeacon Habib Gerges, pray to our Lord Jesus Christ to learn to love our Lord and love our church to be faithful and defend the teachings of our church and preach to others like you. Please pray to the Lord on our behalf to forgive us our sins. Icon talks and it tells beautiful stories We learn and understand from the icon